Okay, that should work. All right, cool. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, YouTubes. It's me, Grimwit. We're doing GM oxidation again. Hey, let's talk, you and me. Well, yeah, me and me. You two. Either way, uh, identity seems to be something of an issue with the uh, person who lived in this map. That's something for later. Hey, the chest has been solved. We solved chess, everyone. It's not just Deep Blue. We did it too. So I need to thank uh, Bean Bread and Willie and me, all one word, uh, for uh, for helping me out. Um, t together, all three of us kind of put together where this was. I'm sure other people found this too. So let's go ahead and get started, right? Um, the general puzzle is grab a chess piece, take it home, uh, put it in the temple where it belongs. That's a tutorial level. So uh, I'm going to show you these pieces and I'm going to start with the hardest one because my fucking god. This one's diabolical. Most others, like, there's an excuse, but this one, I don't know, man. I don't know. So let's start with that one. Also, hi, everyone. How are you doing? I once again refuse to edit, so I'm just going to have to talk to you along the way. How's the wife and kids? Do you have wife and kids? Do you want wife and kids? Good talk. I forgot how to get up. Oh, there's a stairwell over here. We'll take this. So, uh... Yeah, uh, I, I put out the call. I, I got a I got a comment from the creator of the map. Thank you for that. Hope you're watching. And uh, people people started really taking to this map. I I think people just found it on their own. I don't know how the um, I don't know how the the uh, community for Gary's Mod works. Good golly, that's that's louder than I thought it would be. Hang on. Down a little bit there. All right. Anyway, um, I don't know how the community for Gary's Mod works. I assumed it was just a whole bunch of teenagers play playing death matches. Although I, you know what they say about assumption? It makes an ass out of you and umption. All right. Um, yeah, it's right here. Can you see it? Can you see it? Well, you need to look for these marks right here. Yeah. That is your only clue. That is hardly a clue, but that is your only clue that that's where it is. So, uh, let's get to destroying. Hmm. I'm gonna need something more powerful. There it is. I found it eventually. I found it. All right. Well, uh, here be the 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 bishop. Kind of. It doesn't have the mouth like a bishop does. I'm, I'm sure if I jump from here, it'll be fine. Magic ankles. Ankles of adamantium. So this was the hardest one to find. And uh, it was also the last to find. That's what William E. found. Thank you. Oh my god, thank you, William. Alright, um, let's go on to the next one that Beanbread found. This really was a nice little hide-and-seek, and they're all hidden in places that you wouldn't guess. I bet everybody uh, forgot about this room. Uh, and actually, did anybody know about this room? Well, it doesn't matter. See where these uh, markings lead to the wall? Yeah, let's get that. There we go. That's another rook in the book. And put that right here. All right, uh, next one is, uh, let's go for the king, because the king is really funny. The, the king's really funny, guys. All right. Let's see. I need to get to the tangle from the bottom. Yeah, that'll work. Now, if I go over here... You guys have played the map by now, right? I don't need to show you where all this is. You've, you've explored the map enough so that you know where this is. This is cool. Good, good, good. I want to be over there. I want to be over there very fast. So, there's a pillar in the back of the tangle at the bottom floor that's right here. You see where the uh, texture is misaligned? All right, now this one's tough because somebody told me where this is. Actually, this is bean bread as well. Uh, when, when they said what this is, I usually use my reducto spell 
it wasn't having that. So I used Fuller Auto. And it, it takes a lot. And uh, we're, we're, we're kind of going to talk about it, but uh, there's code. There's actually code quite a few places around here. I might make a separate video if we ever figure out what the code is for this. There's also two QR codes that was found. One in a maze. I think that was also William Me. I'd have to check. And one that's just kind of sitting in the city. And it was in a room that I visited last video. Not 100% sure why I didn't do that. All right, so here's the trick. How do I get this out without dying? Um, We kind of cheat. Kind of. There we go. That's all safe. Let's go off with this damn thing. Yay. I'm solving puzzles. Actually, I think I've already mentioned, I don't care if I find this out myself, I'm just, I, I gotta know, right? And I wanted it to be kind of a community effort. Because I have learned that uh, my brain not too big, my brain big, but my brain not great big. Uh, like, yeah. I would say my IQ, but one, I haven't checked it. And two, what does that really measure? What is, wait, what is, what does the my, my IQ measure? Does anybody actually know what that does? Like, okay, you have a big IQ. Can you know the unknowable? Do you have psychic powers thanks to IQ powers? I'm curious. I'm curious of that too. So, uh, I found the knight. I feel pretty pleased that I found the knight. Um, it was on accident, kind of. Uh, I will show you how I found the knight. It's upstairs. In the city. So let's say you're just wandering around the tunnel. Um, it's not in the tunnel. It's in out here. He's just like, what is this mark? There's another mark. This was the first piece I found. There's a, there's a little mark to the wall. What is that wall? Can I click on that wall? I cannot click on that wall. What I can do on that wall is destroy it. And there we go. There's the knight. Destruction. The uh, creator of the map uh, had said that you will need to be able to destroy things in order to get the pieces. But otherwise, you really don't have to cheat. And so far, that's been true. Except for that, the many, many times you will drop the king in the lava, then you'll have to whip out the... Uh, oh, not this way. Then you'll have to whip out the good old uh, laser gun thing. The laser... this thing. I don't know what this is called. What is it called? Physics gun. That's a boring name. The laser grabber. The tractor beam. It's a tractor beam. Pawn is next. Hey, remember what I said about the pawn being at the top of that weird shaft? Well, as it turns out, uh, you don't start by going to the weird shaft above the spike. You start by going down to the lower city. Uh, somebody had mentioned this baby, and I wanted to see the baby. And I walked in here and I'm like, ooh, scribbles on the wall. Oh my god, somebody exploded upwards. That's so bad. That's really bad. Considering multiverse travel is done here, I wouldn't be surprised if gravity reversed itself and somebody splattered on the wall. That is a big splatter. Um, but I'm sure it's fine. In any case, the baby's safe. Well, as safe as a multi-dimensional baby can be. Let's take this baby and sacrifice it to our god. That's what I do on my time off. Uh, I need to get up. We'll have to take that shaft again. The staircase again. Nice, tense music for baby sacrifice. Look, we have to feed the baby to someone. If God didn't want babies to be eaten, he shouldn't have made them out of meat. Okay, it's over here. I guess there are multiple ways I could have done this, because you just really need to get to the hallway, right? And you can't you can do this through the, through the shaft. I mean, not the shaft. This is the shaft. The vent. But the vents are just, like, uh, slow. So here we go. Uh, I knew I was onto something when I grabbed this. I was trying to figure out 
where am I going to sacrifice a baby? Being a devil, it's the first thing I think of all the time is sacrificing babies. I just want to sacrifice and eat babies all day long. There are so many of them. Nobody's going to miss a few. Oh, shit. God's watching. Okay, no. <laughs> there we go. Glitch baby sacrificed. And now we just wait for a little bit. Uh, we might need to pace around the room or play some Sudoku. Or we, we can... I don't know. I've I've started playing idle games, and it's really bad for me because I keep forgetting what I'm doing, and time slips by. But uh, we we just need to wait. It'll happen. Just let it happen. It's fine. There it is. The final piece of the puzzle is right here, my friends. So that's all six pieces of chess found. And. Uh, yeah. Now we can go on about our lives. We we have nothing more that we need to worry about. We're, we the puzzle is solved. It's off off of our heads. Uh, uh, we can we can relax. This level is complete. There we go. And now we just wait again. And it opens up this secret room. But I'm sure you're not interested in that. What's more interesting is all of these codes that are around here that I've been noticing. All right. And I've noticed like three of them. You saw the one that's in the king's chamber. Uh, there's also the one upstairs. And to make things more complicated, there was also this little QR code here, which I will zoom in for you because I know you want to scan it with your YouTube powers, right? Whoa, whoa. There, easy there. Easy. There we go. So, yeah. It's a poem. There's another one like this, right? And uh, it's like, um, we, we, I have to show this. If for no other reason, then this is hard to explain how to find it. Same as with the, oh, let's, you know, let's, let's take these stairs. Oh, shit, that's not the first time I made that mistake. It won't be the last. All right, uh, there's this QR code, which I need to show to you guys. And the reason I need to show it is because if I told you how to get there, you would be like, what the, f what, what, that's not, a, that's not a thing. It's not a thing, Grim. So in this little horseshoe room, take the left branch and we get into the maze. You remember this. Take a left, a right. No, that's, that's wrong. I already screwed up. Screwed up. Screwed up. Okay, we start in the maze. You take a left, and I passed it. Then a right. Then you take the corner. You take a left, and another left. And it is right behind you on the ground. There it is. And there's another one of these QR codes. So let me zoom in this for this one because I know I know you want I know you want to scan this in with your phone powers. There you go, guys. So there's this QR code. It's another poem. There's uh, there's still some doings to do, and there's one last mystery to solve that I cannot figure out yet. I, I will figure it out. I mentioned it last um, last vid that there is a shaft. And it's just like, if I have time, we'll, we'll talk about the shaft. Oh, uh, I'm about to die. Let's fix that. Magic is truly magical, just like friendship. And uh, in the temple, there is this shaft, another shaft, but a drop. Let's call it the drop. And the drop is, um, well, this could kill me. First, you go down to the drop, and it starts teleporting you upwards randomly. And I've tried all kinds of different things. Maybe it'll teleport you here. Maybe it'll teleport you in lava. Uh, maybe it will uh, just teleport you up over and over and over again. Uh, either way, uh, it does a hell of a lot of teleporting, and I thought solving, I thought solving the ma the chess puzzle would unlock this, because I, I have gone out of bounds, and there is stuff down there, but you can't get to it because the entire plane is a teleportation hitbox. That could turn off teleportation, but that's no fun. This was clearly put here with the thought that there would be cheaters trying to get down there as well. So it's been locked off via uh, shenaniganery. Yeah, yeah, 
It mostly teleports upwards, sometimes teleports here. I think it's random. And once or twice, it'll just teleport you into lava. So that's the next, uh, the next puzzle to be solved. While we're talking about puzzles, um, take a right, no, 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 not here, not yet. Uh, this is too far, did I miss it? Oh, no, no, uh, it's, uh, it is through this door right here. Then you take a right, then up here, and you end up with these um, four, I don't know what to call them, admin rooms? These four really fancy rooms, the VIP rooms. And uh, there's another code. So that's three codes. One in the temple, one in the king's chamber, and this one. I don't know what they mean. They seem to be kind of in that same sort of thing. I wonder if this is a Caesar cipher. No, oh, god damn it. Am I, am I gonna have to type this in manually? I'm gonna have to type this shit manually. All right. Hang on, let's see if it's a Caesar cipher. Z, A, B, W, X, Y, maybe. I don't know. I'll have to play around with it. And anyway, that's all I got for you today. That's all I got for now. Uh, this, there's still some mysteries to be found. And uh, this one's gonna take longer to crack, if I'm honest. I think, I think this one's gonna take me and the community longer to figure out. Um, so a comment was left. And I've been taking the devs' uh, words to heart as I, as I go through their creation. And I've been thinking, um, some of this might be akin to poetry. Like it's more there to give a feeling rather than an actual plot. The plot is that the world is divided, right? And uh, the person or people who have been left behind here um, are having some trouble discerning which one of them is the real person, which I can totally get behind. Identity is hard to do, especially if you're a teenager. Um, uh, especially if you're a teenager in like a multiverse. And, and basically what I'm saying is give Peter Parker a break. Um, with that said though, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know what's clue and what's poetry, but uh, if I make another video for this, and I might not, I will start trying to cover the details, because there's a lot of hidden details, there's a lot of hidden decals and drawings on the walls and so forth. I've been, I've been snapshotting them. In any case, that's all I got for you now. Um, let's go to some fancy thing to get out of here. Bottles. Let's go to bottles. Yeah, bottles. I'd rather have a bottle in front of me than have to have a front a low bottom me. All right. Anyway, um, thanks for watching, YouTubes. See ya. I need to find a good outro. Bye. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of my get the fuck out of my YouTube channel. Alright.